Hello guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another Apex video. Season 2 info just released via EA Play and I'm going over all the big announcements including the first look and details on the upcoming 10th legend Watson, the L-Star, new game mode and more. If you find the video useful, leave a like, it is very helpful. So let's jump straight into it, Season 2 of the Battle Pass is dropping on July the 2nd and it's called Battle Charge. The new season will see a lot of difference than the previous seasons, based mostly on improvements from player feedback. It's challenge based instead of time based, so daily and weekly challenges are needed to be completed to rank up rather than playing matches specifically just to get kills and survive a long time. This does mean however that we should be able to rank up to level 100 a lot quicker than we did in season 1. The stat trackers and badges will be removed thankfully and replaced with other much better content like the new skins you can see here in the video. Caustic's Prince of Darkness skin, Octane has a new skin called Jade Tiger, a Spitfire skin called the Intimidator, and our level 100 reward is an R301 skin called the Iron Rampage. And there will also be a gold version of this one, presumably at level 110, like we had the last time around with the Habit. So the new legendary skins and crafting materials will replace the badges and the stat tracker rewards we've seen in the last season. So what kind of content can we expect in Season 2? Well, the next character to come to the game is Watson. And I have to admit, she looks like she's going to be really awesome. She's French and she's based on an engineer. Her and her dad helped build the arena, so she knows all the best places to fight. She's pretty much what we expected from the leaked info, but a lot more, I think. Her ultimate blocks grenades thrown, bombardments from Bangalore and Gibraltar's ultimates, and basically any throwable that goes beside her ultimate is negated, and it also recharges shields of you and your teammates if you're close by, and it also increases the speed at which her ability recharges as well. So it's going to be really useful, specifically with her new ability, which is the electrical fence. So you can set up to 12 of these at a time, and they can be in any configuration that you want to use them. Basically, this ability in game is going to completely change the way we all play. It's not 100% clear if the fences do a lot of damage, but they definitely slow down players like an arc start does, so it will likely do some damage, probably not as much. But the electrical effect will definitely apply to you if you walk through one, well at least an enemy's one, you can walk through your own squad mate's one. But also, if an enemy passes through one of the fences, it will alert all the players in your squad. So you can use it to block choke points and you will be alerted when an enemy passes through that area. She's a support character and can be used to set up fortifications for you and your team to defend. But her ultimate can also be recharged fully with one ultimate accelerant. So you can carry loads of them around to help you and your team out if you're on the move. Or you can hoard them to make sure you're fully supplied for the end game if you want to set up a fort for you and your squad. So that fact really allows you to play with whatever playstyle you want to. Whether you're defensive or you're more of an attacking player, you can still use her abilities. All I know though is Bunker's going to be pretty crazy now with Caustic's gas and Watson's fences. So I can't wait to see what happens. Next, the new weapon this time around is the L-Star which is no surprise, but what is a surprise is it's a care package weapon. According to the devs, it's so powerful you can only get it from care packages, and since it's from a care package, it will have no extra ammo available. It has the ability to shoot open doors as well, which is a cool feature, but other than that, it just functions the same way as a regular care package gun, like the Kraber and the Mastiff. Next guys, so big news, a new game mode is coming, and it's a big one. Ranked matches are being added into Apex. What we know is there will be 6 tiers, Bronze to Apex Predator. The higher you get, the more matchmaking time there will be, as there of course will be less good players than there are bad, so if you're a better player you will have to wait a little longer to matchmake, but you should be put into games with better players. You'll get rewards for where you end in the season, essentially it's all just the same as Overwatch, and we will find out more over the coming days I'm sure on more details on the ranked matches, but ranked matches are coming to Apex Legends. One final piece of info, two new hop-ups are being added to the game. It's not been revealed yet on what they are, but one of them is promised to make Mozambique useful in the future. The other one is also something that will improve one of the weaker weapons since the devs when they were talking about it mentioned that was the reason for these changes. So the Mozambique will be getting some kind of buff thanks to a new hop-up, which we will find out more about as we get closer to Season 2. Oh, and last piece of info, the reveal for Season 2 shows a giant dragon in the video, and we will be seeing something related to that at the start of the new season. 
So again, look out for more info. Guys, a quick vid on the details of Season 2. There will be plenty of stuff to talk about over the next few days, so expect more videos. Let me know in the comments then what you think of the upcoming changes. To be honest, what's in and rank matches, even if we didn't have anything else, is something I'm looking forward to, so all the extra stuff is just a bonus. I'll be back real soon with more info, so look out for that. Subscribe for the latest Apex and PUBG updates. Guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.